Hey fuckers, welcome back to the Be Distinct headquarters. Today we're going to be discussing how I was able to get a manual G35 for just $800. We're going to be discussing that whole story since I do have a bunch of new subscribers and it's an amazing story that I was sharing on TikTok and a lot of you guys love that story and I want to explain it to you guys on YouTube again since I do have new subscribers. Without further ado though, before we start this video, I do want to ask you how much did you get your G35 for? Down in the comment section below, let me know how many how many miles it had and how much you got your G35 for. What kind of deal did you get and see if it compares anything to my deal. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. We're going to go straight to the point no wasting time here in this video if you guys enjoy this story enjoy this content go ahead and subscribe go ahead and smash that like button in this video the new z was supposed to come out in spring 22 but now i'm hearing that it's gonna come out in the summer but if you guys don't know i i will be purchasing the new z hopefully if god forbid everything goes good we are going to be including a new z to the channel and give the supercharged g35 a brand new brother that'll be pretty sick all right guys so let's go ahead and begin this video okay it all started back in 2018 i needed a vehicle to transport myself to college let's start off with the cons every rim that i have is messed up so we definitely need to i was looking in the market i was on a budget just like everybody else a freaking g35 popped up and i don't know what that car was i just knew that i liked the way it looked and I wanted to drive it. So long story short, we went ahead and went to take a look at the G35 and I ended up buying my first 2004 automatic G35 for about four thousand dollars it was a bone stock g35 this is what it was looking like um it did have its flaws and damages i had curved wheels there were stock wheels but they were curved but overall i really really liked the car i liked the way it looked i liked the way it sounded and that's kind of how my whole channel started before i had my g35 i was already trying to become like a youtube star or something so i was already making youtube videos even though i was only getting like five or ten views but i was still making them so when i got my g35 i thought it was a great idea to you know title the video hey I just got a g35 and what do you know when I posted that video here's a clip man there's that video it gained about a thousand or a thousand two hundred views and it was absolutely insane I was freaking out so I was like you know what let me make more videos about this car and that's how my channel began so I went ahead and started the YouTube video and things led to another thing more mods led to more mods and I started modding my G35 and these are some pictures of the transformations that I went through the G35 things that I bought. I bought side splitters, I bought front front lips, I bought rear diffusers, carbon trunk, vented uh, hood, uh, Corbel seats, uh, exhaust, um, headlights. I bought so many things for the car and this is kind of what it was looking like. When I started my YouTube channel and started broadcasting my stock G35, I got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, suggestions. Uh, I would say hate, a little bit of hate, that, you know, it wasn't a manual. I didn't know what the hell that was about, but they're like, bro, you don't drive a manual, dude, you're lame. I didn't even know what the hell that was. I was like, are you, what the hell's going on? Like, I was, I didn't know anything about the car community. Those hate comments every single morning, they got to me so much that one day I was like, you know what? I want to please you guys. I had that thing. I want to please you guys. So, you know what? I, today, I'm going to decide to sell my auto G35 and officially start looking for a manual maybe that'll make you guys happy i will bring you guys that answer very quickly it didn't solve anything but whatever so then my search for the manual g35 began you know how every search starts you go on facebook you go on craigslist you go on ebay you go every, you start searching and these g35s these manuals they're kind of overpriced because it's a manual manuals are more expensive than automatics i didn't even know that but man dude i could not find a good good g35 but i officially found a clean g35 it had 101,000 miles lower than my uh, automatic one and it was all the way in los angeles but it was the cleanest stock g35 manual i have ever seen it was a 2005 my was so desperate i was like you know what i'm gonna go across the world to get the cleanest g35 so me and my girlfriend packed our bags and we were off from sacramento california to los uh it was in temecula actually not even los angeles it was a bit further was all the way to temecula super happy bro get this bro i'm not even exaggerating bro i'm getting heated i stood up right now 
we got to the place. We traveled eight hours. We're so damn tired. We get to Temecula. I call the guy. Yo, I'm here, bro. Like, uh, I'm ready to look at the G35. This man, bro, I cannot make this up. The man said, bro, I am so sorry to tell you, bro, the G35 just sold this morning. These four words literally shredded. Oh, my God. Let me just tell you. We called. He answers. I just sold the G35. Bro, I was, bro, I know you guys are thinking. I know what you got. I told the guy, I'm coming from Sacramento. I'm coming from a far place. Please do not show this to another customer. I'm willing to buy that. Okay, please. I'm coming from far. Please do not waste my time. Bro, still sold it. Are you, bro, can I get a F in the chat? Can I get a rip in the chat? Like, I was so heartbroken. I did have a second G35 plan to look at down over there, but that car was just a mess. So I just completely disregarded. I was completely bummed out, and I headed my ass straight back to Sacramento. But here's where the juicy part comes in, okay? This is how I was able to find my manual G35, okay? So I was searching. I was posting on my Instagram. I had a decent following, and I was like, yo, I'm looking for a manual G35. And and God bless me. And some guy said, "Hey, yo, bro, I was I, I, I heard that you were looking for a G35, bro. Like I have a manual G35, and I want to present it to you and see if it's something that you're interested in, and if you would like to purchase my manual G35." So I was like, "Well, yeah, send me some pictures, send me a description. What you got going here? I'm I'm, I'm open. I'm open to opportunities, right?" So then he starts describing this car, not not how it is now, but how it was at the moment and I cannot believe my eyes bro I, I was like are you serious is this is this an angel sent from above it's a manual six speed g30 it has 81,000 miles I was like are you ser you're capping you're no it's on bags it's bagged I was like bro are you kidding me bro like I was on coils on my automatic g35 but now to bags like are, that's an upgrade that's a come up it has an Akabono big break bro, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up right now. If you're, if you're kidding with me right now, I will personally go to your house and beat your ass. Well, are you serious? But if you want to buy it right now, bro, come through. He was in San Francisco, by the way. I was like, shut your mouth. Stop talking. I am on my way. As you speak, I'm already halfway there. So we got there. We saw the car and, and it checked off. Everything he said was true. And I cashed him out right there and I bought the car. This is what it was looking like. And, and it was beautiful, man. I like, I and I was barely starting to learn manual. So my friend drove it home. Actually, I did not drive it. And then once I got here to SAC, I started learning on my own. And I think within like two to three days, I got the full hang of it and I started driving it on my own. But here's where the come up comes up. Here's here's the come up right here, okay? I'm already $7,800 down. because I already spent it, but I still have my automatic G35. So like, I just spent an extra 7,000. So where the hell's the come up? Where's the deal, man? It's an automatic, right? G35, 2004, 148,000 miles. I had all these mods I took off let me, let me pull out my list so here's my list I took off the side splitters I took off the rear diffuser I took off the carbon trunk I took off the vented hood I took off my Corbell racing seats I took off my entire Z1 exhaust including the high flow cats I took off all the black interior that my automatic G35 and I swapped it with a tan interior that my six speed had because they had a full tan interior I know you guys see it in videos now it's all black but it was 100% all tan before and I took all those things from my automatic G35 and so my automatic G34 was like bald. I put in like a stock G, a stock G35 trunk that I bought from like um, Offer Up, and I put all the exhaust that this car had, and just everything swapped. Right? You guys can see the transformation videos if you guys haven't checked them out. Go ahead, check them out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. It was a beautiful process. Well, here's where the magic happens. Um, you let me know down in the comment section below how much you would pay for that automatic G35 with all the mods taken off and 100. I shot my I, I shot my price to the stars. I shot it i put it at eight thousand it didn't sell for eight thousand but because i priced it at eight thousand i was able to get a buyer that fortunately bought it for seven thousand dollars i did the full disclosures i told them hey underneath this wrap it's a paint the clear coats painting off i have videos online i have nothing to hide it had an intake i was explaining to him everything i just i did full disclosures you know this car is what it is pink slip signing whatever and and the car was off to a new owner and if you guys do the math seven thousand eight hundred minus seven thousand it's only eight hundred dollars and i was able to keep my mods i kept my trunk all those mods i mentioned i was able to keep and i put them onto the six-speed manual and that's how i was able to buy this car for only eight
hundred dollars but let me know what you guys think man that car for seven thousand eight hundred and it only ended up costing me eight hundred dollars was that the deal of the year or what guys let me know down in the comment section below but that's the end of that story and the car is still running beautiful to today if you guys know i installed my supercharger and i was having massive troubles for like two months straight i fried my ecu i burnt belts i i had so many issues but now it's running beautiful for about three months now i do not want to jinx it but it's it's awesome it's amazing i love this car. all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video right here i don't want to make this video any longer but i do want to still hear your guys's deals down in the comment section below let me know what kind of deals you got how much you got your g35 for how many miles i had I, i'm interested to hearing all your answers i did this on tiktok and i got like a ton of answers and there was some super super good deals on there so and hopefully it'll help you guys out kind of determine what kind of deals are out there so down in the comment section below let me know what you got your g35 or even if you don't have a g35 let me know what you got your car for it could possibly help someone out so with that being said i'll catch you guys next video thank you guys for tuning in to today's video i'll catch you guys next time amigos peace